Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called How to Stop a Foreclosure. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new channel. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's episode on all your social media to help get the word out. Now, let's get started. Now that the eviction moratoriums have been lifted, the number of foreclosures is rapidly increasing across the country. A lot of people who thought the economy would start to improve rapidly are finding that they can't get back on their financial feet. In New York alone, there are 200,000 foreclosures on the backlog. That's almost a quarter of a million. Think about that. Inflation is killing people with high prices. Their businesses aren't improving like they hoped. The economy is not as strong as everyone thought it would be. You might be okay, but do you think you'll be okay a year from now if this continues? How can you protect yourself if your financial situation does not improve? We're hearing about a strategy that may help some people hang on to their homes before they get foreclosed. It's not easy, but it may work for some people in some areas and prevent the loss of their homes. So how does it work? This strategy has to be done early and quickly. It won't work if the sheriff is already evicting you next week, but it can help some people if there is enough time. How does it work? Well, if you think that you may get foreclosed in six months or a year because you just won't be able to make the house payments then and your credit score is still decent, then what some people are doing is that they're refinancing their homes and taking out as much cash as they can. Then they're using that money to purchase a two or a four unit rental property. If the rental property generates enough cash flow to allow them to hang on to the current house, then that is one option. If not, then they can move into the new rental property and rent out one of the four units in that building. At the same time, they can sell off their current house and live in the new four unit building. Now, remember, many people believe that the real estate market is going to collapse in the next year or two. That means that a lot of homes may lose 50 to 80% of their value, just like they did in 2008. When that happens, it's gonna to be too late for this strategy because there won't be enough uh, money or equity in your home to take out with a refi. But if you can do this before the real estate market collapses, then it's an option you should explore. Make sure to talk to your real estate lawyer, your real estate agent, and a mortgage broker before you pull the trigger on this. That's because they will have a handle on what the current market values are for your current home and the apartment rental that you're thinking of purchasing. You should talk to everyone and get their opinion on how viable this plan can be before your income, credit score, and real estate values collapse. Something to keep in mind, becoming a real estate manager for your new rental property is not easy. It takes a lot of work, so you'll need to prepare for that. But do you know what's harder than being a real estate manager? Being homeless. Now let's talk about timing. No matter what people say or claim, no one really knows when the real estate market will collapse. It may be this year, it may be two years from now. No one knows. But a lot of people, a lot of experts say it's inevitable. Now, the real estate bubble is now so bad that most experts agree that it will pop soon. The question becomes, will you have enough time to buy a rental property and sell your current home before the market collapses? If it does collapse before you implement this plan, then it may become harder to sell your first home. If you can't sell it because it's underwater, then perhaps you can rent it out and collect some nice rent money for a few years until the market improves. What matters is that you act quickly and decisively. Get the opinion and advice of the professionals we mentioned above and then act quickly. Make sure to sell your existing house before you buy the multi-unit rental. You don't want to get stuck with two properties and then lose everything when, market, when the market collapses. If you do get stuck with two units, then you'll have to rent one of them out. So another option you may wish to consider is to sell your existing home and then move into a, re a rental and wait out the market collapse. It may take a few years for the real estate prices to hit rock bottom, but when they do, you'll be able to get in at a very low price on a home or a multi-unit. The key here is to avoid the foreclosure at all costs. The reason for that is that once you have a foreclosure on your credit report, then you'll have a much more difficult time buying or renting or doing anything really. 
that will complicate your options enormously. Try to do everything on your timetable before the collapse begins. Move quickly. One more thing to remember. If there's a possibility that you may get laid off or perhaps you already are laid off, then that'll mean you will, you will qualify for much less of a mortgage or perhaps no mortgage. That's if you're buying a house to live in. If you're purchasing a multi-unit rental property that's generating positive cash flow, then the amount of mortgage you qualify for will be determined by how much cash flow that building generates. So keep that in mind. Remember, the key to stopping a foreclosure is to prepare for it and avoid it ahead of time. Once the foreclosure has been initiated, then the situation changes dramatically. Your options are reduced. We're not saying that everyone who loses their job should immediately put their house up for sale, but we do recommend that if you are having problems or anticipate having problems, you should talk to the professionals we mentioned above. Then put a plan in place quickly and execute it. You don't want to wait too long and then lose everything and have all the doors, all the options close on you. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.